Here's another Solomon question on parametric equations. X is cos 2t and Y is cosec t, t is between 0 and pi by 2. Just for background, obviously that's a double angle, that's a single angle, and cosec means 1 over sine t. Okay, so there's something going to go on here with double and single angles later. The point B, P is on the curve where X is a half, so when X is a half, you could uh, find t and then find the y that goes with it. Find the value of t there, we can do that by making uh, x equal a half and solving. Show that the tangent to the curve at c has that equation. So we want the, to work out the tangent at the curve there. And then the shaded region uh, is as follows. We're asked to show that the area of the sage, say, shaded region is as follows and then find the area. Right, let's give this a go. The first part. Clearly, at P, x equals a half, right? We know that from the diagram. So let's let a half equal cos 2t, okay? And let's solve this. So the inverse cos of a half, so 2t is going to be equal to the inverse cos of a half. And if we type that in our calculator, the inverse cos of a half, we get ourselves pi by 3. So 2t is going to be equal to pi by 3. What other values could it equal? Let's just check what the cos graph looks like. If we're going between 0 and pi by 2, but we're doubling the angle, let's go between 0 and pi. The cos graph looks like this between 0 and pi. And uh, pi by 3 is that value there. There's no other values. So t must be pi by 3 divided by 2, which is pi by 6. That's the t value, and we're done for the first part. So t is equal to pi by 6 here. t is equal to pi by 6 when x is equal to a half. Okay, next part. Um, show that the tangent to the curve at p has the following equation. Well, we know uh, the next value there. Let's find the y value. y is equal to, for part b, cosec t, which is 1 over sine t. So y is going to be equal to 1 over sine of, and we said t was pi by 6, as follows, which is 1 over a half, which is equal to 2. Okay, so here y is 2. So let's use, uh, we want to find the, the tangent as well, so we're going to need dy by dx at that point. So we know that dy by dx is going to be equal to dy by dt, divided by dx by dt. So y is equal to uh, cosec t, which is sine t to the negative 1. And dy by dx is the differential of cosec, which is going to be equal to... And uh, we can differentiate this. Actually, what I should say is that um, if y is equal to cosec t in the formula booklet we're given the differential of cosec which is minus cosec cot so minus cosec cot t okay so that's the differential uh, sorry that's dy by dt if x is equal to cos of 2t then by the chain rule dx by dt is going to equal negative 2 sine 2t okay right so dy by dx is therefore dy by dt, which is this thing, negative cosec t cot t, all divided by negative 2 sine of 2t. Now the negatives cancel, so I can uh, divide top and bottom by negative 1. What else can I do? Well, what I could do is, now I'm going to substitute in pi by 6. Okay, so dy by dx when t is equal to pi by 6, is as follows. Cosec is 1 over sine, okay? That's 1 over uh, sine t, which is 1 over sine of pi by 6. So this, this part here is this part so far. Cot is 1 over tan of pi by 6. So this part here is the same as this part. And then we're going to divide by 2 sine of 2 pi by 6, which clearly is this part here.
Okay, so it's just a type that into the calculator game. So When you type that in to your calculator, you should get that the gradient is therefore 2 when you type all that in. So that's the gradient, and we're going to use y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1. So y subtract 2 is going to be 2x subtract a half. So y subtract 2 is 2x subtract 1, add 2 to both sides, y is equal to 2x plus 1, and that is exactly what you were looking for in the question. So let's have a go at the next part, part C. We're asked to show that this area here is given by the formula uh, as follows, the, the following integral. Well, that's t1 and that's t2. So in general, this uh, area is going to be the integral from t1 to t2 of uh, y dx by dt dt. So that's the formula we're using. Okay, so for t1, let's say what's true here. At t1, x is clearly zero. Okay, so at this point, x is clearly zero. Y, we don't know, x equals zero. So what we're going to do is we're gonna solve zero is equal to cos 2t, inverse cos, that tells me that 2t must be equal to pi by 2, and then t is pi by 4. There's no other values in that range. Okay, so here, t is equal to, or t1 is equal to pi by 4. Now, previously, in a previous part, we worked out that t is pi by 6 at this part here. So t is equal to pi by 6 here, and we had worked that out previously. Okay? Now, uh, next thing we need to do is work out dx by dt. Um, if x is equal to cos 2t, and we've done this in the previous work, and dx by dt is negative 2 sine 2t. And now we're ready to go with regards to this. So the area is the integral between t1, which is pi by 4, and t2, which is uh, pi by 6, of y. Now y is equal to cosec t, that's 1 over sine t, dx by dt, which is negative 2 sine 2t, all with respect to t. Now, uh, what we could do, the integral between pi by 4 and pi by 6, now that's negative sine 2t over sine t dt. Now we could use the double angle formula on this, sine 2t we should know, we should know that sine 2t is 2 sine t cos t. Okay, so this is therefore the integral between pi by 4, uh, sorry, pi by 4 and pi by 6. This will be negative 4 sine t cos t all over sine t dt. Now the sine t's cancel and we've got ourselves the integral between pi by 4 and pi by 6 of negative 4 cos t dt. But this negative here means we can swap these around, okay? So we can make that a plus 4, uh, 4 cos t, and we could swap these limits around. So it's between uh, pi by 6 and pi by 4 dt. And I think then we've got the question. It's got the pi by 6 here, the pi by 4 here, and it's got the k being 4, so we could state that k is equal to 4. Right? And it says, hence find the uh, area of the shaded region. So let's actually go ahead and find this integral. So I'm going to rub this out here. And what we're going to do is to find, for part d, we're going to find the integral between pi by 6 and pi by 4 of 4 cos t dt. 
Now, the integral, we can take the 4 out, and it's the integral between pi by 6 and pi by 4 of cos t dt. The integral of cos t, keep the 4 there, is sine t. And it's just a substitution game here. What we're going to do is we're going to put in the pi by 4 first, so it's 4. Putting in pi by 4, you get root 2 over 2. Okay, and then subtract the answer when you put in pi by 6, which is simply a half. And then you can multiply both by 4 and you get 2 root 2, subtract 2. Okay, and we're done there. I mean, you could even factorise out the 2 if you wanted, but there's no need. That's absolutely fine as it is, and we've got the answer in exact form.